Abracadabra These days you might hear abracadabra before some stage magician pulls a rabbit out of his hat, but hundreds of years ago people actually believed that abracadabra was a magical spell. The exact origin of the word is up for debate, but perhaps one of the oldest records we have of abracadabra being used is a snippet from a Roman sage named Serenus Simonicus in the 2nd century AD from his Liber Medicinalis. The malady the Greeks call hemitrateos is more deadly. None of our ancestors could name this disease in our own language, nor did they feel the need to. On a piece of parchment, write the so-called abracadabra several times, repeating it on the line below, but take off the end, so that gradually individual letters, which you will take away each time, are missing from the word. Continue until the last letter makes the apex of a cone. Remember to wind this with linen and hang it around the neck. Many people say that the lard of a lion is effective. It's unlikely that Samonicus came up with the word on his own, and it is thought to have been in use before then. There are a couple of theories as to where it might have ultimately come from. First, it could have been derived from the equally magical word Abraxas, whose letters in Greek numerology add up to 365, the number of days in the year. It could be that the early sages thought this was a powerful word, and somehow created abracadabra out of it and turned it into a cure. Alternatively, the word might be derived from the Hebrew words for Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, A, Ben, Ruach, Hakadesh, respectively. Perhaps more intuitively, it could be derived from the Aramaic phrase Avracadavra. Harry Potter fans will likely know that this is what J.K. Rowling used when she was coming up with the killing curse, Avada Kedavra. In an interview, she stated that the original phrase meant let the thing be destroyed, though there is some debate on whether she is correct on this. Nonetheless, this would suit the cure theory well. Abracadabra was written to destroy the sickness. As strange as it may seem today, people did wear talismans of sorts with the abracadabra cone, as Simonicus described. It was thought to cure diseases, fever, and other problems by siphoning it out of the person and expelling it through the bottom A. Obviously, it would have no more than a placebo effect on the user, but people seemed to put a lot of stock in it. For example, in the 1500s, Eva Remington Taylor wrote The Troublesome Voyage of Captain Edward Fenton, in which she claimed, Bannister saith, yet he healed two hundred in one year of an ague by hanging abracadabra around their necks. Abracadabra was still used as a cure well into the 18th century, as evidenced by a 1722 book by Daniel Defoe titled Journal of Plague Year, which lamented the use of such charms. People deceived. And this was in wearing charms, filters, exorcisms, amulets, and I know not what preparations, to fortify the body with them against the plague, as if the plague was but a kind of possession of an evil spirit, and that it was to be kept off with crossings, signs of the zodiac, papers tied with so many knots, and certain words or figures written on them, as particularly the word abracadabra, formed in the triangle or pyramid. How the poor people found the insufficiency of those things, and how many of them were afterwards carried away in the dead carts. Eventually, people let go of the abracadabra superstition, and by the 19th century, the practice of hanging an abracadabra charm around your neck to cure disease had died down. At this point, the word started to take on the meaning of fake magic, which is what we know today. After all, magicians don't actually make rabbits appear out of thin air. Or do they? Bonus facts. Kadavra in Turkish means cadaver or corpse. Bonus fact 2. Many other Harry Potter spells have a Latin origin. Expelliarmus, the disarming charm, combines expelliere, to drive or force out, with armor or weapon, making it to force out a weapon. Lumus, the wand's lighting spell, derives from lumen, meaning light. Crucio, or the Cruciatus curse, is a torturing spell that translates to I torture. Bonus fact 3. Hocus Pocus, another common phrase used for fake magic, didn't come about until the 17th century when a conjurer came up with the phrase for part of his act. Hocus Pocus Tontus Talonus Vade Selatria Gibio. It's entirely possible that this was derived from the phrase spoken at Catholic Mass, Hoc est enim corpus mum, or for this is my body. Another theory is that it derives from the Norse demon Ocus Bocus, and calling his name would make him help with whatever magic was meant to be done. It's possible that Hocus Pocus later evolved into the word hoax. Bonus fact 4. Presto simply means quickly in Italian. It was used by magicians who were attempting to call up demons and apparently wanted them to hurry up. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.